chapter 34 Psalm chapter 34 and we are talking about the importance of blessing the name of the Lord the importance of glorifying God when you hear me making noise don't worry it's because I'm seeing thousands <laughs> hallelujah Psalm chapter 34 verse 1 says I will bless the Lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth I will bless the Lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth I personally this is personal responsibility I Huh? The psalmist is not saying we Because he knows it's easy to say we And in the we some are not agreeing So the psalmist makes it very clear That he is not talking about other people But he has got a personal commitment He says I, I will bless the Lord Will meaning to say Remember God has a will And a human being has a will we are three in one. You are spirit, soul, and body. Amen? You are spirit, soul, and body. In your soul, you have the will, the emotions, and the mind. In your soul, you have the, so the, the mind, the will, and the emotions. So the psalmist says, I will, my will, not by force. Nobody is forcing me. Nobody is encouraging me. I will bless the Lord so he has made a decision and all of us need to make that personal decision I will bless the Lord I will speak good things to the Lord I will glorify the Lord the interesting thing is it's not I will bless the Lord when it feels like it's not I will bless the Lord when I'm happy it's not I will bless the Lord when he has blessed me it's not I will bless the Lord when things are working. It's I will bless the Lord at all times. It doesn't matter what has happened. Hello? Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. 24-7, 365. At night, in the morning... In the afternoon, when it's raining, when it's not raining, during sunshine, during darkness, during storms, during times of happiness, during party, during funeral, I will bless the Lord at all times. <laughs> good things happen to good people. Good things happen to bad people. Bad things happen to good people. Bad things happen to bad people as well. And we need to understand that we, we cannot be, you know, there are some, some Christians are like this. Huh? They love God when it suits them. When things get hard, you just hear what they speak. All of us want consistency. Amen? Amen. Imagine today you see me here, oh Jesus, God, fire. And the next day you see me doing other things. I'm with witch doctors, or I'm a witch doctor myself. <laughs> No, it can be like that. I will bless the Lord at all times, no matter what happens. One day, my family and I left the house. We went to my office. I was working somewhere. We went to an office, and we were there. It was a Sunday, if I remember well. We were there until past 7, 8. You know, we got back home. We found our front door open wide open and we knew something wrong was happening we got into the house like this we saw two flat screen tvs gone phones gone cash gone everything gone go to the bedroom like this to see the people ransacked the house they scattered everything everywhere you know our first prayer point father we celebrate you Jehovah, we give you glory. You remain on the throne. No matter what happens, Father, we give you praise. We celebrate you. It's craziness to be a child of God. I will bless the Lord at all times, no matter what's happened. I will bless the Lord at 
all times, not sometimes. Not when people say you're looking gorgeous. Not when, <laughs> hello, not when I pass. Even after I have failed, Father, I thank you I'm still alive. At least I have something. The fact that I'm still alive and I'm still normal, it means I can redo this and I will make it this time around. Glory to the living God. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. The man who sang the song, it is well. It is well with my soul. He had lost everything. You lose your wife. You lose your children. You lose your business. What else do you have? It is well. It is well. In Africa, if you can do that, then people will quickly classify you. You are a witch of the highest order. How do you say it is well when you have lost your wife, you have lost your, your children, you have lost your business? You know what you did. But it's not about the people. I will bless the Lord at all times. Are you with me? It doesn't matter what's happening. It doesn't matter what people are saying. It doesn't matter what's happening in the economy. It doesn't matter what's happening to your health. Father, I thank you. <laughs> I remember one time I wanted to go and write an examination for my MBA. I had a tough paper to write that morning. So I went out very early. I started my vehicle so that I can be sure it's ready. You know, in time, because this paper I'm writing is not right. It's not good at all. And I was staying in extension four. We were writing in block six. So what did I do? I started the car, came boom. Ah, <laughs> of course, car is not what to worry about, you know. I have to be there in time. So the car is idling outside and I'm getting ready. I'm taking my breakfast, everything. When it's time, now you know what I'm talking about. When you are going somewhere by car, by, by car it's different from going by combi. It's also different as to hiring a cab because you know cab people. You can call them. They say, I'm coming. I'm by the corner. They will take three hours. You want to go and write exam. So there I am. I'm walking majestically. I get into the car. The car is already idling. So it's just to put in gear and we go. I moved the gear. No movement. Stiff. It had never happened. It was the first time. How sweet is that? Mm -hmm. I tried to put the reverse. It refused. I tried to move front, it refused. I, it tried everything. I said, I know what to do. I've driven Skoro Koro before. This is a much better car. My Skoro Koro taught me how to be a bush mechanic. So I switched off the engine. Then I, I tried to put in gear. You know, most cars, when it is uh, off, when you have switched off the engine, you can put it in any gear. It refused to go into any gear. I knew that, yeah, I'm in for it. If a tough paper, the time I have allocated is for someone driving, not for somebody who is uh, asking for a cab. It's not for somebody going by combi. I switched off. I started singing. I closed the doors. I say, car doesn't write exam. The one who writes exam is me. At least I'm still alive. At least I'm still strong. At least I'm normal. So it's the car that is no longer functional. Thank you, Lord. I'm alive. I ran into the house. I said, sweetheart, bye-bye. My car has refused to go. What happened? I said, I will explain when I come back. I didn't want to call Cape because I didn't want stories. I started running <laughs> to grab a combi from Main Mall to, to drop me bus rent, then to get another one. I got to the exam, exam room 30 minutes late, glorifying the Lord. Ooh, yes, the final say, Jehovah is the final say. I say, ooh, yes. as I'm running and I know I'm late. <laughs> I got there. I said, Father, thank you, I'm here. I searched for the paper. I passed. I will bless the Lord at all times. Not sometimes. Not when it favors me. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will speak good of the name of the Lord. I will be consistent regardless of what happens. 